What's up everyone, George Lehman here with MuscleMascus.com. For those watching this in the future, it's Christmas. And yesterday I got a cool question from a client that um, I figured I'd answer on video. I didn't want to do anything training related or diet related on Christmas, that's just kind of lame. But I figured I would uh, share some, some cheer and shit and give some other people some credit. Uh, someone asked me the other day who my idols were when I started training, like my lifting idols. And, uh, you know why I liked them and stuff like that, and who I looked up to as I was growing up and, and training. Um, a few people actually. Uh, obviously, I looked up to some some bodybuilders. I liked Lee Priest a lot. Um, I think everyone likes Arnold. Uh, I was a big fan of Ronnie Coleman. Um, people like that, like the general, uh, the more famous bodybuilders that were known for their personalities. I like Flex Wheeler. Um, obviously, nowadays I have many people I look up to, but um, back then there, there weren't as many uh, weren't as many people that I even knew of. So some, some basic bodybuilders. I looked up to Ronnie Coleman a lot. I looked up to Branch Warren, um, Flex Wheeler, um, Jay Cutler, stuff like that. Those are probably the main ones. Uh, I like Dorian Yates a lot. Um, as far as powerlifters go, I looked up to powerlifters a good bit more because that's what I was doing. And while I admired uh, the bodybuilding lifestyle and what they were doing too, it didn't really speak to me as much as powerlifting did. Um, I had a lot of powerlifting idols, but I'll, I'll just name the uh, the top ones that I really admired and followed a lot. Um, Scott Mendelson, huge fan of Scott Mendelson. Never met him. Uh, loved watching his older training videos, trying to learn about his diet, um, his training methods, watching him train, reading interviews and stuff like that. Extremely inspiring to me. Uh, Ryan Canelli, same thing. Um, Road to Arnold, or I believe was his video. Loved the video. It's really, really cool video. Uh, watching him like make shakes and stuff really inspired me. Training, uh, diet, nutrition, all this stuff he did. It was all these hardcore lifters doing everything it took to be extremely brute strong. Just inspired the shit out of me. Um, Andy Bolton, another another person I really looked up to. Uh, freak of nature. Um, deadlifting like 950, 1,000 pounds and stuff when I was watching him going against Benny. Um, I was a huge fan of Benny's as well, um, but he was newer on the scene as far as I knew whenever I was uh, growing up. He was, he was competition for Andy Bolton at the time, um, so obviously you had to root for someone. Andy Bolton's the person I knew, so I was um, always kind of rooting for Andy Bolton at the time. <laughs> um, Andy Bolton, obviously Benedict Magnuson, I, I thought that guy was fucking incredible too. Um, let's see, who else? Uh, Ryan Canelli, Scott Middleton huge deadlifters. Uh, I really looked up to Don Reinhoud and uh, Paul Anderson. Now I don't know if I'm saying Reinhoud properly, but uh, he held the, still holds the all-time American total record, I believe in wraps and without wraps for uh, raw powerlifting. Could be wrong, uh, but f absolute freak of nature. Didn't have access to the same equipment, the same training methods. Just basic shit turned him into an absolute animal. Freak of a human being. Really looked up to him. Paul Anderson, another freak of a human being, basically legendary because most people will really question the lifts that he claimed. I don't really question the lifts that he claimed, but I'm sure that they wouldn't have passed in competition. Um, like stuff like, you know, squatting over a thousand pounds and stuff like that. Um, totally believe it. Uh, probably ever, ever, ever so slightly high for the guy with 36 inch quads. Doesn't take a damn thing away from him as far as I'm concerned. Uh, legendary lifter. Extremely strong in many different ways. Olympic athlete um, holds a number of world records in different strength feats. The kind of the kind of person where they don't just bench a lot, but they can they can press a lot with one arm overhead and stuff like that. Ex another extremely inspiring lifter. Learning about all these people and their diets and their training methods. Paul Anderson specifically, very unique training methods compared to other people. Um, high rep, partial, you know, overload training and stuff like that. I, I learned a good bit from the methods that he used actually implemented them somewhat myself. Uh, so I had, I had a number of bodybuilders and powerlifters that I looked up to uh, growing up. Um, very inspiring to me. I, I did a lot of research on their training and their diet, what worked for them. Uh, just seeing what they were willing to do to push things to the limits, the amount of weight they were willing to gain, uh, the frequency of their training, their you know consistency, their determination. Going from a 700 pound bench to a thousand pound shirted bench whenever you thought 750 might be the limit, you know, of what they were going to be able to do and stuff like that. Looked up to those people a ton, and obviously I still do. Um, over time, the people that I look up to have 
not changed, but I've gained more people. Um, mostly uh, a lot of a lot of current people that just inspire me to keep doing what I'm doing. Um, I don't look up to these people in the same way that I did growing up. Uh, this when I when I was growing up, I looked at these people more like more like untouchable gods that could do something that no one else could. And nowadays, I realize it's it's mostly an untouchable work ethic. Um, so while I do look up very much to these people, I consider them more more uh, something to shoot for, something that anyone, not necessarily anyone, something that a lot of people could aspire to, more so than like a freaking demigod that's like Andy Bolton or some shit pulling 950 pounds. When you're 15 years old, you look at that and you're just like, ha, <laughs> there's like no way, you know what I mean? But uh, obviously as you grow up, it becomes ever so slightly more realistic how human beings can do that kind of shit. So I, all these people inspire the shit out of me. Um, why don't you guys leave me some posts about who inspires you, who you looked up to. I don't care who it is. If it's a fitness competitor, I, I really couldn't care. If it's a fucking skateboarder that you like that has like a really good body or, you know, a CrossFit strength athlete, I couldn't give a shit. But um, tell me who you guys like. Um, thanks for watching my videos. Merry Christmas, guys. As always, um, don't forget to share and like and check out MuscleMasochist.com for apparel and training and stuff like that. And um, stay tuned for more, guys.